want to talk about that. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that I'm going to be recreating a painting. Oh, there's a dog. That's a cute dog. So I'm going to be recreating this. See, I just have to paint the canvas black. Just kidding. I'm going to be painting this. But the difference is, is that this one is in like watercolor paints and I don't have that. So mine's probably going to look different than that. So yes, I'm going to tr try to recreate this. Let's go. First, I have to go into our painting room and I have to select a canvas. We ran out of small canvases. I look like an interesting person. Oh, you wanna see another painting? I did this one. My sister did that one. My sister also did uh, these two. Here's our paint here. So now we just have to grab this and we have to sketch out our draw. Put on my glasses and try to be aesthetic. I'll wear these. This is what we're working with for a picture that's like two feet tall. What? That doesn't even make sense. So we're gonna rip this up. And paint it. Also, I have painted a couple paintings. They're not very good. See, there's one right there. But now we just have to lightly sketch on this, the drawing. Okay, so I finished the sketch. I think it looks pretty similar. So now I just gotta go paint it. So let's go. Found some small canvases right here. It's fine. We want a big picture. Okay, so we're back. We got plates and also my mom made me a sandwich. So we're gonna eat that. We're gonna go fill up this cup to get our paint washed out in. Okay, so for our paints, we need like a brown, blue, green, orange, and yellow. Brown, yellow, blue, green. Okay, so I might switch up some colors in this. Um, we also need gray anyway. Here are the brushes. I'm going to just use a small brush. The boat thing I don't know what it's called the basket and it's a little rough on the edges but it'll go once it dries and I paint like the background of it it'll go away the paint will overlap I just have to at the very end at the finishing touches like trace all out in black which is gonna be hard I'm going to do the elephant and the bunny and then I'll be right back Okay, so it looks weird now because all my pencil drawings and like outlines of like the ears and stuff are gone. So I promise at the ending it'll look a little bit better. But now we're gonna move on to the higher book. <laughs> Okay, so I just got an idea to um, paint clouds, but I don't know if that's really gonna happen. But so I didn't mean for it to be like this opaque, like I wanted some definition, but it's kind of hard when you're doing it with acrylic paint and not watercolor like this person is doing it with. So I'm just gonna try my best. Um, I won't look exactly like hers because of the paints and because we're just different at that, but yeah. Okay, so here is the painting. I tried to add some white in the middle to kind of like make it look a little bit different. Kind of worked, kind of didn't. Now I'm going to draw the blush on these guys. And then I'm gonna start the background. Also made a little bit of a bad decision right there. It's a little bit messy. Hopefully I'll clean it up with the black. Um, we're just gonna paint the outside blue and those blush.
tried doing some little like clouds, but now all I have to do is just outline it in black. So let's go. Okay, so guys, I finished the painting. It took me three hours and this is what it looks like. Honestly, I am pretty proud of this. Gotta say, I like it a lot, actually. It's cute. It did take me a really long time, but I think it's worth it because I like it. I'll put a side-by-side -side picture. This is mine and this is the original one. Obviously the original one is better because it's watercolors and it just looks nicer. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a like or a comment, I don't know, what you want me to do next. If you want me to paint something next, draw something. Thanks for watching. <laughs>